Later in this newscast, we'll take an in-depth look at the Islamic religion. Action News anchor Juanita Stevenson shows us the truth about Islam and its followers right here in the valley. Religion of Islam. Who are they and what is the real truth about Islam? Tonight, Action News anchor Juanita Stevenson joins us with some of the answers. Well, Islam is the second largest religion only to Christianity in its number of followers, yet it remains among the most misunderstood of faiths. With this country in a war against terrorists who say they represent the Islamic faith, we sought out Muslims here to interpret their ancient religion. It is Friday afternoon in Northeast Fresno. Muslims from all walks of life, every race and nationality come to the mosque. It's time to pray. Prayer is a way of life for those who practice Islam. They bow down before God five times a day. Because we feel that he has blessed us with so much that we need to thank him constantly. They take off their shoes to keep the place of prayer clean. And if they are spiritually or physically dirty, they wash. It's called purification. Those who practice Islam are called Muslims. The word means peaceful. Islam itself is Arabic for submission to the will of God. Fresno State professor Ali Alzani says that is the cornerstone of their faith. The person should submit himself in full obedience to God and full respect to his decisions. True Islam, we're told, is a tolerant religion. Believers are peaceful and loving people. So why do so many people see them as radicals and extremists? Hollywood mainly is propagating uh, a distorted picture of Islam uh, in terms of movies like um, Executive Decision. We are the true soldiers of Islam where the terrorist is shooting and killing people with a machine gun and he's uh, saying to the flight attendant, it's all here, it's all in the Quran. al -Zaini says the events of 9-11 distorted true Islam even more. The terrorists do not, he says, share his religion. I feel deeply hurt about that and I feel that the name of Islam was hijacked and misrepresented. And I have very strong faith that our, our fellow Americans will understand that Professor Alzani, Bosnian immigrant Leila Trikic, and Fresno State student Suzanne Khalil all agreed to help interpret Islam for Action News. Islam really spoke to me. It, spo it spoke to my heart. It is a complete way of life based on six articles of faith and five pillars of worship. The six articles of faith is to believe in God, to believe in his angels, to believe in his scriptures, to believe in his messengers that he has sent, to believe in the day of judgment, and then to believe and to submit yourself to the decisions of God. The Quran is the holy book of Islam said to be written by God and revealed to God's last prophet, Muhammad, who followed the five pillars of worship, belief in the oneness of God, the ritual prayer of Islam five times a day, mandatory charity for the poor and needy, the fast of Ramadan commemorating the revelation of the Holy Quran and once in a lifetime to make a pilgrimage to the spiritual center of Islam, the city of Mecca. We have all seen the pictures of the treatment of women in Afghanistan. Layla says that doesn't represent true Islam. In the Muslim way of life, women do behave differently. In mosques, men and women don't worship together. Layla explains that it's because their prayer involves bowing, kneeling, and bending over. If we were mixed, if we were in a mixed gathering, that movement would be, um, would not be able to, to be there because we would feel conscious that, you know, you're leaning and you don't know what's going on behind you. Muslim women often dress differently as well. First, I want to show my respect to God then it is the modesty that I do not want to propagate uh, with my clothing anything that would be un immoral. This says Suzanne Khalil puts women on an equal footing with men. They are not judged by how they look. 
stereotype would have it that I'm so oppressed and that I'm I'm voiceless, but really I have I have yet to experience that. I've I've yet to to feel stereotyping, misconceptions, and ignorance of the Islamic faithful are facing these issues now more than ever before. Juanita, what about the black Muslims founded here in America? Do they also practice Islam? Uh, yes, they do practice uh, the Islam faith. The difference is uh, that some belong to the nation of Islam founded by Elijah Muhammad. Now, many African Americans who join the nation, as it is sometimes called, they join it because of his emphasis on learning about their history and the message of economic independence. Local family facing the challenges of being Muslim in America today. When Saima Bajra goes to pick up her children at this Clovis school, people don't stare at her so much, not like they used to. I found out after I started mixing in and going more to the school that people are so acceptable. They just see you, okay, you know, this is what you are, fine. Saima and her husband, Tinder, are from Pakistan. They immigrated here to the U.S. 10 years ago for better opportunities. They are also Muslims practicing the Islam religion. Islam is a way of life, not a way to life. So uh, it impacts everything we do from start to finish. Like all Muslims, they start their day and end their day with prayer, thanking Allah five times a day. That's not always easy for Mr. Bajwa, who works as an administrator at a medical facility. If I get a chance. I just uh, lock the door and, you know, pray there in my office. But sometimes you, you cannot. His wife, Saima, is a stay-at-home mom, but she wants people to know that is a choice, not something dictated by her religion. She was going to medical school before she got married. When my children, they get to a certain age, I can go back to college and school and, you know, carry on with my, uh, the field, whatever I choose to go on. The bourgeois say it can be challenging living in a society that knows so little about them. It became more difficult after the events of 9-11. When this incident happened and the Muslim names came forth, uh, you know, we were numb as a family and a part of us died that day, you know, and we felt that Islam was hijacked. They were so afraid people would take their anger out on them that Saima wanted to keep the kids home from school. The Bajwa's fears were not unfounded. There were incidents. Mrs. Bajwa and some of her friends are still afraid to go to the shopping mall. She says right after the terrorist attacks, some were told they weren't welcome there. So this is the defining moment. We cannot live in shadows anymore. We have to. This is our community. Our children are born at St. Agnes, all three of them. And they are born in Fresno. We are being, raising them here. They are American. The Bajwa see the answer in education. She's involved in her children's school and gives presentations about their culture. They belong to local organizations that teach tolerance. They say they love Fresno and will work to make it a better place for all people. Juanita Stevenson, ABC 30 Action News. This Saturday, the mosque across from Fresno State will hold an open house from 4 to 8 p.m. to foster understanding. For, and for information about the Islamic religion, log on to our website, abc30.com, and click on Islam Questions and Answers.